The sound of the shofar gave the signal to start the 21st march of the living, which on April 19, 2012, began from the gate with the inscription Arbeit macht frei of the former German Nazi Auschwitz concentration and extermination camp. This year in particular was in commemoration of the liberators of the Nazi concentration camps. For the first time in this march, the American veterans of World War II who liberated, among others, camps such as Dachau and Mauthausen, were in attendance. Holocaust survivor Meir Lau, former chief rabbi of Israel, who as a young child was liberated by Americans in Buchenwald concentration camp, said, This is the first thing in education and information and knowledge to see something, to feel it, to understand much more. Now, there is also some feelings of, I would say, pride of the Jewish people. In the same way that our ancient fathers, brothers and sisters, went on their final way, and they couldn't come return back, we go, which calls a march of the livings, not a taught march, not the march of the deaf people. March of those who come back home, everyone to his home, to his country. It's something which gives you hope, pride. It's optimistic. Participants walked in silence to Birkenau, where the main ceremony was held near the ruins of the gas chambers and crematoria. The March of the Living has been organized since 1988, on the Holocaust Remembrance Day, which date is related to the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. The largest took place in 2005, in the year of the 60th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz, when it was attended by nearly 20,000 people.